today is a great day because I'm going to Beijing for two days and uh, we will have the event or we are organizing the event with the uh, Slush community and Finnish Prime Minister. Start a grind and Nedis, Slush, all different organizations. Today we're going to meet with Prime Minister Sipila and the delegation very soon and I get to stuff. Thank you everybody. Thank you. What did you say? The biggest parties are held here? Yeah, yeah, the biggest Finnish party. Uh, <laughs> biggest yeah, Finnish party. So if yeah. you if you want to have a good party in Beijing, go yeah. to this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nathan, nice to meet you. Finally, finally. Let's definitely chat. Let's oh. definitely chat afterwards. Please. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? So we have one hour time before that, before Prime Minister comes. If there's anything I can help in the EU level or uh, or relationship between uh, Finland and China, I am I am happy to do it. And uh, maybe we can we can agree the first meeting in for August before the slush and, uh, and, uh, and uh, that's that's the beginning of that. Maybe that's the, that's a concrete promise from from my side. Okay. Thank you so much. So for me being in China is all about um, growing grassroots networks here and planting seeds for the future. So what are we doing here today? So we have Start up Cry right. number six. Chengdu number six. I drive yeah. us here. It's pretty tough because sometimes Chinese uh, people, students or people that are just getting started, they, they don't understand this value. You know, like what's this value of the network? And what's this community all about? Like, I'm not really making money. What is it good for? You know. So, uh, uh, of course, there's always people that you can find, but it's harder in those smaller cities, you know? So, so that's the biggest, biggest obstacle that we are kind of facing, to really explain what we're doing, what, it's, uh, what is the benefit for you to be that director, even though we don't pay salary. You know, it's always, I like this kind of discussion, because on one hand, when you kind of like come to China as a foreigner, and you start complaining that it's too difficult, then like, why are you here at the first place, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so it's like one side of the coin, but the second side of the coin is like, China wants these entrepreneurs to be here, but when it's so tough, they cannot, or they just cannot figure it out, they will leave. So you need to find the balance, right? So nobody will spend time to learn something about China. We just hear in the media how bad it is, you know, how pollution is bad in Beijing and this, but we don't really take the time to study the language but even like to learn something to meet those people and learn something like a different perspective because there's just so much so much more we can learn there's so many other industries or businesses in china that are doing a much better job than the ones in the us you know or in, in europe we chat but also like the kols influencers and things they're just so far ahead
You are absolutely amazing. Uh, this one? Done? Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to make it too long because I guess you're already excited about the gentleman over there, uh, what kind of knowledge he has to share with you today. What we do globally, uh, apart from Asia, we're a global community, we're a number one international startup community in the world. Uh, we have around 250 cities right now where we host events like this. We also do big conferences. I live in Shenzhen, unfortunately I don't live in Chengdu. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe it's gonna change. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the city is just uh, amazing. And you have pandas, right? So uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's uh, there's the big advantage, the big, big selling point. And actually my email is here. So uh, if you wanna reach out, or if you wanna add me on WeChat, just let me know and we can definitely chat afterwards if you're gonna stick around. So now, enjoy the event. Thank you very much, guys. Right. Thank you. Woo! Hey guys, I'm here to you. There you go. To be honest, I have for a very long time wanted to develop my network in China and I've always been interested in business in China since I was in university. I've made a very conscious effort to learn the things I didn't know. Um, when it came to the time when we were running out of money and we had to let go of many of our engineers, I said, okay, we have no engineers, how are we going to build our software? Okay, guess who's going to do it? Can anyone guess who's going to do it? You. Me. <laughs> I'm going to do it because no one else is going to do it. I had never built a Ruby on Rails app before. I mean, I had done some like Java programming in high school, but I had never built a Ruby on Rails app before. And I said, all right, I have no other choice. It's time for me to learn to code because that's only where we're going to su succeed. And to be honest, that was a great decision because we've saved millions of dollars building our software because I can do it myself. Also, because I know the business, I can build things a lot faster because I don't have to do, there isn't a communication channel from a business person to a tech person. It's all right here and I can just build it, right? I also work way more hours than any of my engineers ever did. Most VCs will say, we look at team, we look at traction, we look at your pitch, it's clear and it has a plan, and we look at um, the fit with our investment firm. Those are things that they will tell you is important. Unfortunately, asking a VC for fundraising advice is like asking someone of the opposite gender for dating advice. <laughs> it's relevant, but it's not really that useful and you can't really apply it, okay? Because the things that they don't tell you is actually more important than those things is signaling, social proof, and fear of missing out. Everybody, uh, it's raining in Hong Kong and I'm on my way to Shenzhen uh, it was a great day productive day today because I went to Hong Kong to check out the space where we're gonna host the event with uh, Gary V next next week next Wednesday and uh, it was great everything should be okay we are sold out uh, no more tickets for the event even though many people are asking I'm so sorry I just cannot satisfy everybody because this time the space is very limited and we didn't even have so much time to work on that so uh, sorry guys those that couldn't get in or will not be able to get in I'm so sorry we're gonna do something else next time and we're gonna do it bigger yeah we have books books arrived everything is there the space is legit we just need to test the audio video next time next week when I'm there with the crew that is gonna film it and uh, now heading back to Shenzhen it's after 10 p.m. I'm I will be back around midnight I guess so uh, another busy day and uh, very much looking forward to tomorrow because again we have still a lot of things to do a lot of things to prepare but it's exciting because uh, one of the biggest things this year so uh, Wish us luck.